Hello everyone, welcome back to VV.net tutorials. Today we are talking about arrays. Uh, first of all, let's uh, see what an array is and why we need it. If you have a problem, let's say you want to find an average of 5000 numbers or you want to process uh, data that uh, you need uh, about 500 variables to to store or something like that it's inconvenient to define 500 variable and fill them one by one after another uh, it's very it's very hard to do so instead of defining distinct variable for each one of these uh, and giving each variable a different name you use an array an array is uh, a number of variables having the same name and having the same data type. When you want to access any element in, the, in this uh, uh, in the array, uh, you will just provide the location of the variable you are trying to access. So right now, what we are seeing is uh, here we have an array. Let's call it A. This uh, the, the green part is just used to show you the place where the variable, uh, uh, the position of the variable, okay? And usually the numbering starts from zero in the .NET, okay? So element zero, element one, and so on. And each one of those variables can store a value, like the normal ones, uh, and you can see here the variable at position 0 is 33 at position 1 is 1 to be 123 and so on. Okay, so this is basically what an array is. All these elements actually, all these 8 elements, because we're starting from 0, have uh, the same name. They are all called A. And in order to know which element we're accessing, we will use this number, okay, which is usually called the index number. So. In order to define an array, we write the following dimension A, which is the name of the array here. You can write anything, for example, names, uh, marks, uh, etc. And you write two brackets and put a number in between. This number represents the number of uh, how many elements you want the array to be able to store, or let's say the number of variables. And finally, you have the data type. Now, when you write this statement, what you will get is not seven elements, you are going to get eight because you are starting from zero and ending with seven. All those elements are of type integer, okay? And usually they will take the default value of your data type, which is zero. Okay, the same you can write uh, dimension um, n of seven or of 700 uh, as a uh, string or double or single any data type okay so it's very simple to define now before going to the coding part let's see how we use it okay now let's assume we are having this array okay we already define it with the dimension statement and it all contains zero now, if we have a statement, let's say a of 1 equals 77, the computer will see a, it knows you are accessing the array named a, and it checks the value 1, okay? And so it is going to store 77 here. So, this is what's happening. Uh, it will go to location 1 and this value will be changed to 77. Now, let's check this one. We are accessing element 2 here, uh, putting a 14. So the computer will go to element 2 and the place 14. What happens next? We are accessing element 0. Now, if you check these, uh, okay, we didn't access in a sequential form. We are accessing it randomly. Okay, we didn't start from zero, we are uh, started from one, two, then we jump to zero. 
but this, this does not mean there is a problem which works perfectly fine and so element 0 is changed and also now we jump to position 7 and change it and so it's also changed okay now we can write something like that now check the index instead of writing a number what we are writing here is uh, an expression and so 2 plus 1 is a 3 and so the computer will go to the element the third element and place the value here actually you can write any kind of expression here that evaluates to an integer value okay so now let's check this here we have a of j equal minus 1000 now if, if the variable j is having the value 5 then the computer will go to the fifth element okay if this same statement is executed and j is 4 uh, it will go to the fourth element okay so uh, as I, I said before you can use expression here and uh, expressions include variables or a combination between constant and variable operation for example j multiplied by 2 j minus 2 uh, c plus t etc etc okay so this is basically how you are following the array and actually it's the same way that you read the value if you want to get the value for example in the fourth uh, location you will just uh, write a open a bracket four and close that bracket so now let's see how we can fill the array quickly okay now we are going to fill an array with numbers from 0 to 7 so our uh, first step is to define the array here we have uh, we are defining y numbers and it's going to be a double array we are defining an integer then we are entering a loop starting from 0 to 7 which means we are going to access the y numbers array from address 0 ending with address 7 so when when we are at the element 0 we are storing 0 in it at element 1 we are storing 1 in it and so on and uh, this example can be uh, you can check it on the website you can download source code and check it okay now let's check another example if we want to fill a number of names now the names we are going to read them from the uh, screen so here we are defining nine names starting from 0 okay uh, gosh, this is a mistake actually. This one should be string. So about that, let's fix it. String and continue. Now, this is actually string, and we have a counter here. So names of i equal open box, which will allow us to read value from screen and put it into here. As simple as that. Okay. 